In today's video, we will look at temperature sensors, their specs and recommendations. Now, let's get started. A car temperature sensors are the ones I personally use in my smart home. They have a great range and reliability, fantastic battery life, and integrate really well with the Home Assistant and Apple HomeKit. Definitely recommend this one. Next up is a temperature sensor from Govi, the company most known for its smart lighting and LED strips. This particular one uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth protocols, integrates well with all the major smart home ecosystem, although comes at a slightly elevated price, so beware. Maris have a pretty decent ecosystem of smart home products, including these temperature sensors that uses Zigbee protocol. It offers uh, comparable precision to a car and other sensor. It has a built-in illuminous sensor, and even though it comes at a slightly higher price than a car, it's still a pretty good option. Shelly has long been a staple brand for the smart home enthusiasts out there and with this temperature sensor I think they've done something really special because this one includes an e-ink display so it's all visual, you don't need a phone or app for it. It uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and it comes at a reasonable price so definitely recommend. The cheapest option for today is Sonoff temperature sensor which comes just under 15 pounds or 15 dollars if you're in the United States. It does not specify its precision, which is a bit of a problem, but other than that, it's a robust Zigbee-based temperature sensor, which will do the job just fine. Unlike most Apple products, their temperature sensor requires a hub, which is a bit of a letdown, but considering the price, good precision levels, and a very broad operating temperatures, I can still recommend this as a good solution, especially if you're in a Home Assistant, Google Home, or Amazon Alexa ecosystems. SwitchBot temperature sensor have a slightly different dimensions to all the previous ones we've looked at and have a slightly lower precision when it comes to temperature though a higher precision when it comes to humidity. At the 15 pounds or 18 dollars it's a pretty good proposition especially since it doesn't require a hub and uses Bluetooth protocol. The final temperature sensor for today is this one from EVE which includes an ink display and it shows not just a room temperature but also a radiator settings and allows you to control the EVE radiator valve as well as potentially some other matter compatible radiator valves in the future. It ships in November, there is very little information available and it costs a hefty 75 pounds. I hope you found the temperature sensor for you. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.